So the way I make something is I set up a shot and then everything's built to spec. I see what the camera sees and then we build everything based on what the camera sees. So it's kind of like most people doing this would build a sculpture or build their thing and then fix their shot to the sculpture, like somehow fit it in. But for me, everything's based on the perspective of the camera. So dealing with what, only what the camera sees. Everything I do is a one-shot deal. So I shoot once, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it's still gonna be shown. So this is main squeeze. And this was like a big deal because MoMA bought this piece and this was like kind of my first big, like when MoMA buys something, it's like a big deal. And you kind of start going like <laughs> for like a minute. Mm. Again, made in like my crappy studio in Williamsburg. Um, the camera on each side. I'm building and shooting everything. Um, and the structure is built around my body. So it's, it's made so that I am able to actually get through, but I just have to be in the exact right position. Um, so this was, this was a piece at the ICA in Philadelphia. So it's a 24 foot sculpture. Um, these are five levels of sheetrock. One, one, level, one side is painted gray and the other side is painted um, the color of my shoes. I bought these shoes and I love them so much that I made the sculpture like based on those shoes. Um, so I just scan the shoes and uh, it's the exact same color. So it's moving through these different walls to get to the back of the museum. I'm finally learning how to make a video <laughs> and, um, and kind of understanding like what's important and how video works and its relationship to painting, quite honestly, like um, probably more than any medium because you're dealing with this like two-dimensional surface and color pops and moves back in a very similar way. Um, so this is like kind of the first video where the shots became as considered as the objects. I'd say that the earlier work was more catharsis based, like was more like anger, rage, Arr, dumb. You know, um, it was like more orgasmic. Um, the older work, the newer work as an older-ish person is longer and like more of a prolonged like Arr. So it's less like, it's less like, it's like, it's less rage, rage, rage end. It's like a constant, slow, quiet rage. So catharsis is still there, but it's not to the same, like it's not like punching something till it's in smithereens, even there, there is elements of that, but it's, it's more of like a constant controlled motion. Um, but of course, like I get, I have, I mean, that's why I ended up going back into making work, being in it, because I really missed, I missed that like, physical time-based, goal-based, like it's like running a race or something. Like, I missed that like competition, even though I'm competing with no one, you know, like I missed that like sort of intense physical. I, looking back on it now, it was just like, really like a struggle with trying to be somebody like you see this in a lot of my work and especially the early work like these this desire and this ambition to be or to, to sort of be, be be something or to be comfortable or ambition or goals and then like to be held back or in some way but sort of to be resilient in the same moment it's like and people think it's like masochistic and all this stuff but I think it's like all about like you know you're taking all this crap and then like you but you refuse you refuse to give in you refuse
I mean, there's a degree of like chaos in my work, but it's kind of like, I'm still bossy about it. It's like bossy controlled chaos. So everything starts falling apart. It's me trying to organize it. Eventually the whole thing falls apart. But I love it. I'm like a lover of art, you know? I love like a Donald Judd. I love a Richard Serra. Like, I love the power of it. I love the dominance. 